Hi, my name is Dana Moore and I'm a fourth grade teacher here at Bethel Elementary School, which is a part of the York County School Division. I teach three classes of science and social studies. For the past month, my students have been engaged in a, a, a research project that all started with the Virginia Living Museum. Uh, they got to cho or choose an animal that was their the most interesting animal and from then they conducted research um, to find out more information. Um, the students uh, used their research and their notes to create three products. For me, they created a food web and a diorama, and then they also had to create a five-paragraph research paper with Jenny McLean, who is the reading and writing teacher. Uh, today is the final piece of their project in which they will present their findings to their classmates. We hope that you will enjoy the presentations. Thank you. Hi, my name is Adrian Sargent, and the animal I have chosen to do research on is the rep wolf, scientifically known as Canis rufus. It lives in the spacious, enormous forests in Virginia. In Virginia. Life as a rep wolf probably feels like it lives in a big and protective family. Red wolves are primarily nocturnal, which means that it does most of its activities in the dark night. They also rank each other on how well they fight. The best fighter is named the Alpha Wolf, and the worst is the Omega. Red wolves are also very territorial. An example of that is if another wolf pack wants wants its land, they will have to battle for it. The red wolf is an apex predator of, the Virginia, of Virginia's forests. As you can see, the only animal or person that eats the red wolf is the human. Everything else on the food web, the red wolf can eat. If, if the red wolf pack is hungry, it can also eat the humans. I hope you have learned something today. Hi, my name is Taryn Sanders, and I chose the black rat snake as my animal. The thing that interests me in the black rat snake is that it was once called the pilot snake for leading rattlesnakes into a cave. <laughs> there are many things that eat the black rat snake. One of them is the raccoon, and there's the owl. Then there's many things that the black rat snake eats also, and I'm going to name three of them. One is the American robin, and one is the um, muskrat, and another one is a bat. Please notice how the black rat snake is sneaking up upon the lizard because it's hungry, and how the owl is watching him with his cold black beady eyes, and how the American Robin's falling away because he's afraid. Hi, my name's Julia Nori, and I'm here to talk about the flying school. I chose a flying squirrel because I think it's very cute. The flying squirrel has flaps connecting to its arms and legs that help it glide and a tail that helps steer its way. Some of the things my flying squirrel eats are berries, fungi, nuts, and bird's eggs. Um, so, well, since my animal is not at the top of the food chain, some things that eat my animals are bobcats, weasels, coyotes, owls, in, in the forest, my animal lives in the forest, and in the forest there are plants like wildflowers, grass, trees, moss on the ground, and the trees, and berry bushes. And some of the animals that live in the forest are deer, weasels, and birds, and a flying squirrel. This I can make. The flying squirrel glides, so that helps it glide. It flaps with its wings and its tail. So I think I thought that was really cool. I hope you like the flying squirrel too. Okay, my name is my name is Alex, 
And my animal is the best held hawk. It, it has no behavioral adaptations, but its structural adaptations are its keen eyesight, and it usually circles around its prey before it eats it. Oh yeah, <laughs> sorry. And then usually it it only eats it um eats other all its other animals in its habitat, except for his its own species of women. But it eats but it eats um its own species that's that um the boys. See the um the red, here's the red two red shield hawks and then two red shield hawks dive dive bombs um death one. <laughs> Okay. Now, here is the food web. web. The Dwayne Hawk passes its energy to the Great Horned Owl, and the Red Winged Blackbird passes its energy to the Red Sword Hawk. The Red Winged Blackbird passes its energy to the American Crow, and the Red Sword Hawk passes its energy to the American Crow. Then the Red Sword Hawk passes its energy to the, um, Raccoon and the bullfrog passes its energy to to the red hawk. And then the poison ivy, the bullfrog passes its energy <coughs> to that because it actually, it actually sometimes eats poison ivy. Thank you for listening to my presentation. <gasps> Hello, my name is Jalen Robinson. The animal I researched was a loghead sea turtle. My animal's behavioral adaptation is migrating because when it gets too cold, it can go somewhere warmer. The food my animal eats are whelks and mollusks. The predators on my animal are roofish, sharks, and man. An interesting fact about my animal is the ESA is that the ESA is helping them because they're an endangered species. That's an interesting fact about my animal. Thank you for filming me. By the way, these animals need homes for their babies. So please donate to the ESA, the Endangered Species Association. They would really appreciate it. That's facts about my um that's all the facts about my that's all the facts you need to know. Thank you. Oh, I'm sorry. Um <laughs> In my picture, I put like some coral right there, and then I put some sea flowers, and I put cor more, <coughs> and I put some coral right here, and this is seaweed, and this this was seaweed too with some blue flowers on it, and then that's a um, that's a mollusk. I try to make it look like a mollusk, and then this is a um, this is a submarine man I tried to make. These are the fish that it also eats. That's a whale. And then that's a shark up there. And it looks like it just ate some food. Oh, and that's the bed where my animal sleeps. Thank you. Hi, my name is Hi, my name is Asia, and I would like to show you my red wolf frog. My red wolf is eats the deer, rabbits, and I have nuts right here so it can pass energy to the deer, pass its energy to the red wolf. What eats the red wolf is black bears, um, bobcat, and human. Here is my red wolf diorama. Here is bunnies, some birds, and a red wolf. My red wolf lives in the woods, so he lives in a den specifically, and he. And here's also a raccoon. Thank you for listening to my product. I hope you enjoyed it.
Thank you. Hello, my name is Cody Sunquist. The name of my animal is, I'll be talking about is the moon jellyfish. The reason I chose this animal to research is because the jellyfish is a wonderful animal and never really comes up in conversations like dogs, cats, and foxes do. The moon jellyfish lives in the ocean and its preys are lots of animals like zooplankton, phytoplankton, eggs, larvae, and krill. The moon jelly's predators are spadefish, a shark, a box jellyfish, the leatherback turtles, and last, loggerhead turtles. The, the loggerhead turtles and the leatherback turtle are both colonians. Colonians are all sorts of reptiles, including turtles. The highest speed for any water colonian is 22 miles per hour, set by a Pacific leatherback turtle. The moon jellyfish's structural adaptations are its long stingers that have millions of tiny electric balls that explode on touch. Another structural adaptation is its jelly-like layers that help it not get squished because it is 95% water. Now last is the moon jellyfish's behavioral adaptations and they are floating along the ocean current to trick their prey into thinking they are dead. And that's why you see them bobbing above water at the ocean or beach shore. Now, if somebody asks you a question about the jellyfish, you can give them all the facts. Um, my name is Matai, and the animal I chose to research is the lionfish. I chose it because it, um, it is almost at the top of the food chain and um, it dominates territory so that their species can thrive. It, um, it, eats, um, it eats small fish, shrimp, and crab, and two species that eat it are um, humans and groupers. Groupers do not eat it much, only, but, they, but they do eat it sometimes. Um, it catches its prey by hiding in um, the cracks of coral reefs and jumping out, stabbing the victim with its poisonous quills, and then sucking a hole into its mouth. It, um, um, an animal called a neuter branch eats the coral reef that lionfish hide in. Um, lionfish cannot eat neuter branch because um, they have their most species of neuter branch are poisonous. And coral is crunchy, so sometimes divers can hear the neuter branches chewing on the coral when they dive. Um, this is the lionfish, um, and a bad, a negative impact on its environment is um, pollution and overhunting. My name is Ty. The name of my animal is the lionfish. I chose the lionfish because I thought the most interesting fact about it was it is the most poisonous, poisonous fish in the world. In my food chain, my animal eats small fish, algae, mollusks, cleaner shrimp, invertebrates, and parasites. No other animal eats my animal. I want to point out all the other animals that live in its environment. I also thought that the other animals in its environment were very interesting. First, I will start with my diorama. This is some curled coral down here, and I drew my lionfish in the background. And those are the small fish that it eats, and this is my clay lionfish, and then these are my sea and an owl. These are my sea anemones that, and these are my weed, and there's my own two weed pumpkins. And now, um, my lionfish eats the algae, cleaner shrimp, small bears, invertebrates, moths, and parasites. Also, the cleaner shrimp eats the parasites, the cleaner shrimp eats algae. Uh, it's a small fish, it's the cleaner shrimp. 
Some small fish needs to stay apart a bit. The small fish needs some more of this. And that is it. I hope you enjoyed my presentation. My animal is the summer fonder. I like this animal because it has very good camouflage. Did you know a summer flounder has two eyes on one side? I think the coolest thing about my animal is how it buries itself in the sand. My animal's predators are sharks and groupers. My animal's prey is bluefish and shrimp. My diorama has some plants and a lot of animals. I hope you like my ocean dialogue. Hi, my name's Allie, and my class went to the Virginia Living Museum a few weeks ago. One of the things that we saw was the bird shank sanctuary, where you could see all of the pretty birds that live in Virginia. Another thing that we saw was the crab tank, with hermit crabs and horseshoe crabs and things like that. Another thing that we saw was the planetarium, where you could see stars and planets. Ready? Oh. Hi, my name is Rihanna. My class went to the Virginia Living Museum a few months ago. One of my favorite things was seeing the animals there. I thought the animals were very interesting, watching them scurry around in the tank. And then another thing I liked was watching the videos off the screen, watching them be into action with their adaptations on the screen. Hi, my name is Asia, and I went to the Living Museum a few weeks ago. The cool thing that I liked at the Virginia Living Museum was that they had all the animals separated in the regions. Like, some animals were separated in the Appalachian Plateau, some were separated in the Valley and Ridge, Blue Ridge, Piedmont, and Coastal Plain. I love the habitats because they were so realistic and the animals in them. I like the waterfall that is.